How's it going everybody? Chris Cards back through the mail. Monday 5 returns for you today, including this very first one from fellow TTMer Caleb's Cards, TTM autographs and more. Great channel, fellow TTMer. Always thinks of old Chris Cards every year on the holidays and I'm very thankful for it even though I am a terrible YouTube contributor when it comes to sending out cards and stuff. So very happy to get this back, as well as his yearly autographed photo. I think it's usually a custom Tops cards, but this year it's a candid shot of his truly. Very nice to get that back, including, of course, a couple of cards for the collection. Kevin Bass. Yeah, he was a Met for 46 games in 1992, but yeah, out of his 14-year career, I remember him as a Met because I am a diehard Mets fan, and I watch every single game and have for many, many years. Rick Baldwin, the great Rick Baldwin, the great late Rick Baldwin, who was a reliever in the 70s before my time. Do not remember watching him play. He passed away in 2020. Uh, very nice to get an autographed card of his. One, of course, I couldn't obtain on my own. Very nice, Caleb. Thank you so much for thinking of us in the TTM community. And yes, uh, I'm, uh, I think about sending out cards every year and, and usually it's like the third week of December and I'm like, well, I haven't done it yet. So I'm a failure as far as that's concerned. I'm very sorry, guys. Let's get on to these returns. Thanks again, Caleb. Let's move on to return number one. First envelope stamped with Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland, Ohio. Got a few cards in here. We've got a signed index card. It looks like McBride. It looks like Ken McBride, who was an all-star pitcher who played in the 60s. There you guys go. Ken McBride. Drafted out of high school by the Boston Red Sox. Didn't make it past double-A with them. Ended up on the White Sox. Left exposed to the 1960 expansion draft where he became an original California Angel. Had three-time All-Star with the Angels. Rejuvenated his career. Got the Major League Baseball playing time he'd been looking for. A pretty good pitcher for seven years before injuring his arm. His uh, injury led to, of course, the end of his career as so often it did back in the 60s. Seven total years. Five really good ones. Three as an all-star. Nice return. Ken McBride. Nice to get some 60s back. 61 tops rookie star card as well as a pretty sweet looking 62 tops card. All signed very nicely by Ken McBride. Nice return. Some vintage to start this week's Through the Mail on Monday. And fun fact. Hit those index cards with the sticky note of the player. Sure, I know who it is now, but uh, a couple years from now, if I come across that in my binder or book, I might not uh, be so quick to figure out who that is. So always like to put the sticky notes on the non-obvious signed index cards, just so when I organize them later, I know who it is. And there you guys go. There's information. Great signer, Ken McBride. Let's move on to return number two, Charlotte, North Carolina. For return number two here, not much in here. In fact, there's just got to be one card in here, and that's it. And that's what it looks like from here. And yeah, it's Jack McDowell, Black Jack McDowell, another three-time All-Star. Nicely signed the 89 Upper Deck card for the set. Beautiful signature from Jack McDowell, $5 a card, great signer. Didn't have any of his other cards, so I just wanted to send him the 89 Upper Deck I needed for my signed set. He does usually inscribe, and I should have thought of an inscription, but I did not request one which is a bummer. He was the 93 American League Cy Young Award, beating out Randy Johnson. 92, he was runner-up in the Cy Young Award to Dennis Eckersley, who had like 51 saves that year, I do believe. Probably could have been back-to-back -back Cy Young Award winner, Jack McDowell. Black Jack McDowell, if you guys recall him from the early 90s, had a nice little 12-year career. Seven with the White Sox, two with the Anaheim Angels, two with Cleveland, and one Short year with the Yanks. Nice return from Jack, who's in bands. Was in a bunch of bands, actually. Put out some albums with a few bands and was in a barroom brawl in 1993 with Pearl Jam frontman Eddie Vedder. Eddie Vedder started it and got in trouble, disturbing a piece. He was the one I got arrested for it. Jack probably won the fight as well. So there you guys go. Jack McDowell, awesome return from him. Let's move on to return number three. North Houston, Texas. As we rip open our third envelope, let's get that out of here. This index card is unsigned. We've got a grip of cards in here. Don't yell at me for this. we got Benny DiStefano on an 87 Tops card. Benny DiStefano, who had a sporadic 80s career. 87 Tops card for the set. 87 Donruss as well. 86 Donruss. 89 Tops. Very nice. He played in 84, 86, 88, 89, and 92. In fact, in 92, I remember him breaking up David Cohn's eighth inning no-hitter as uh, he was a Houston Astro in 92. Broke it up in the eighth inning. 
I think David Cohn ended up throwing a two-hit shutout, but broke it up with an infield hit, which is a bummer. Mets would go another decade, two two decades plus, uh, maybe not two decades, but they'd go another 15 years or so before getting their first no-hitter. In fact, 92, I guess uh, about 20 years maybe, what, 2012 maybe, 2013, 11, something like that when... Johan pitched his no-hitter. Uh, Benny DiStefano uh, got into 240 games in those five years, spent four of those years with the Pirates, won his final with the Houston Astros. Very nice to get these back from Benny DiStefano, great Italian name, and uh, signed a bunch of cards for me. Appreciate that. He's actually been in the Mets organization these last 10 or 12 years as a coach. Doesn't sign too much right now. It's been about a year since we've seen a regular return from him, so your mileage may vary with this information. You do with it as you will. And let's move on to return number four. California, in fact. Santa Ana, California, for our fourth return of the day. As I open this up very carefully, I've got a card saver in here, which is odd. Oh, I know why I have a card saver in here. I spent a lot of money... Once again, and got Mr. October back, Reggie Jackson. Reggie Jackson signed the 84 Tops AL Active Career Hit Leader card. Just need Rod Carew on that, as well as a 74 Tops card signed, uh, the Playoff World Series card signed for the set. Both cards are for the set. Rod Carew just got done with a private signing about a month ago. He's $100 a card as well, so... Uh, Bert Campanaris is $5, so that card, hopefully when completed, will cost me $205 for that fully completed AL Active Career Hit Leader card. Gonna look sweet. And that AL Playoff 93 card, I had to buy two of these. I had one in my set that was not in great shape. And I actually bought two off eBay. One actually had some printing defects on it, and one as beautiful as you see that one is. This card also, I had four or five of those. And I had to pick the best one. And I, I had to keep buying them on eBay because I would they would show up with printing defects you really couldn't see in the photos. Really wanted nice, clean cards signed by Reggie and Rod and Bert Campanera. So I did not want to mess around and spend a bunch of money getting these cards signed and have the cards be have poor eye appeal. So I'm very happy to get two really clean cards signed by Reggie. hundred dollars from Reggie. They were saying he's gone up to one fifty. Uh but I sent these out, and I got them for 100 apiece, so that's good. Um, like I said, you got to get these guys before they keep raising their prices. I mean, I think Nolan Ryan's the one guy who hasn't raised his price in like 15 years, and uh, he's $75 a pop for Nolan Ryan right now is a, is a bargain. So Reggie Jackson, I do believe these are the last two cards I needed of his signed for my sets. So that very expensive endeavor is complete. Glad to get all those cards signed. Uh, you guys are probably tired of seeing Reggie on through the mail Monday, but I sent them off in chunks just in case I lost any of them. I wouldn't um, be too butthurt about it. So um, I didn't want to send off six or seven cards at once and lose them all in the mail or something or have to uh, do some other sort of tracking or uh, or some sort of uh, express mail delivery and just have it cost a bunch more money. So anyway, that's Reggie Jackson, guys. Let's move on now to our final return of the day. All right, my friends, our last return comes to us from Memphis, Tennessee on the, and I got a zero on the back, a zero with an exclamation point. Hopefully that doesn't mean there's zero autographs in this envelope, or maybe it's, boy, maybe this guy's Australian, Graham Lloyd, maybe. Uh, no, we have Bo Hart, Bo Hart with one of the greatest first months of a major league career of all time. In fact, broke Kirby Peckett's, Kirby Peckett. Oh, my God. Kirby Puckett's 10-day or 10-game rookie record hitting 460. Made his debut on June 19th of 03. Really tore it up that first couple months as a Cardinal, playing second base for them. And uh, by the end of the first month of the next season, he was back in the minors and never played Major League Baseball again. Played pro ball till 2008. Real bummer. Uh, came up with a, like a house on fire, 33rd round draft pick. Pride of Cresswell, Oregon, former member of the Gonzaga baseball team up there in Washington. Very nice to get this back from Bo. Maybe it was an O for Oregon on the back of the envelope. I'm not sure. Uh, but, yeah, this guy, if you Cardinal fans remember Bo Hart, you guys thought you had struck gold with him back in the day. So uh, ended up hitting 277 that year. 
uh, in 77 games, hit four home runs. And as I said, the next year uh, after the first month, he was back in the minors forever. And there you guys go. There's information. Awesome return from Bo Hart. Great not, uh, great name, Bodie, B-O-D-H-I, his real name, Bo. I mean, if your name is Bodie, you got to go by Bo if you're an athlete, right? Uh, nice return there. And check out this week's haul. Very nice through the mail Monday return. Some vintage, some uh, 2,000 cards, which I don't normally uh, send off. Uh, like I said, there's a big gap in the cards I send off, and I'm trying to fill some of those gaps and get some of these 2,000 players uh, that sign back as well. Benny DiStefano, uh, Mr. October Foundation. Yes, I write a check. I don't send cash. I wrote a check to the Mr. October Foundation. Uh, that way uh, I see when it's cashed and I hope I'm getting the cards back. So um, I always get asked about Mr. October, Mr. Reggie Jackson. And yeah, I sent him a check. Uh, he's uh, Most of the foundation guys I send checks to usually uh, him. And um, I guess that's about it. I don't Lefty as well. Uh, Steve Carlton, I write him a check. There you guys go. Through the Mail Monday. Thanks for watching. I've done this every single Monday for a couple years now. Many years. Three years maybe. I don't know how many years. It's been a while. Glad you've been around for uh, as long as you have been. Even if it's just one video, hit that subscribe button. Do this every single Monday. Would love to have you along for the ride. And of course, like the video and comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought of this week's returns. And I'll uh, respond with something or other. Uh, eventually when I get a few minutes and I see the comments, I'm like, I need to comment. I need to like this. I need to heart that, like this, heart that. Perfect. Um, my routine, I love it. Love reading your guys' uh, feedback and all that stuff. So Ken McBride, nice returns here all around. Caleb, thank you very much for the Christmas card. Very nice of you. You look quite dapper in your uh, senior photo-esque photo shoot there. Very pensive, very thoughtful, very happy. Uh, great contest over on his channel. Ones I always wish I could be involved with, but it, um, man, time just, I'm just too old for this. I'm 44. I'm going to be 45 on Christmas Day. It seems like uh, these days are just passing me by, and it's just like, oh, there's a contest, and oh, it's it's over already. It's, you know, it's like concerts. Oh, I want to see this, this. These guys are coming into town in a couple of months. I've got to go see them. And then, like, three months uh, later, you're like, oh, man, they played last month, didn't they? So just just a lot going on, I guess. I don't know. I don't, I don't have a good excuse. I'm just blaming it on old age, even though I'm, I'm, I'm not. I, I know in 10 years, when I'm 55, I'll be like, oh, I'm really old now. And then I'm on 65. I know it's all relative. Oh, well, I don't know. That's my excuse for everything right now. And, uh, yeah, there it is, guys. There's this week's haul. Thanks for watching. Love you all. Um, I got some videos from my recent trip to germany uh i need to start posting a few of those uh just a couple quick little videos i uh, show you some of the cool things i did uh very uh very excited about um some of the places we went and visited stayed at a castle which was super cool and uh you know just like an attack just tacking some uh just random videos some short stuff on the end of these videos uh just to, just to put them somewhere i don't know just seems like a good place to put them and uh and that's it through the mail monday thanks for watching guys see ya